We're still in Mercury retrograde, but now we got the sun on the move? Yes, the sun is changing signs. It's the longest day of the year, um, and so that always heralds the sun going into the sign of Cancer. And whenever the sun changes signs, that's where your focus changes. So even though Mercury is retrograde, our attention is going to be in a different area. So. You don't dance naked on this one. No, you don't. Only no, in the spring and fall. Yeah, I got you, got you. Yeah, no. Um, so for Cancers, the sun entering their sign fires them up and revitalizes them. They have, they've been going through the end of their solar year, very tired, very, have no energy, very lethargic. Well, that all changes and especially changes with their new moon and their sign on Friday. And they'll feel a lot more optimistic, a lot more hopeful. And the things they've been trying to put in motion for a year finally start to go forward for them, which is a very cool thing. For Leos, it's time for them to take a step back. Cancer is their 12th house. It's a time for them to go on vacation. It's a time for them to retreat, be a little introspective, look over the things that they've done in the last year or so, keep what they like, and boot to the curb what they don't like is, is the big thing to do with this energy before acting when the sun enters their sun in 30 days. For Virgos, it's time to reach for the brass ring. It's going to take the help of your well-placed female friends and colleagues and coworkers to help you reach that. So don't be afraid to ask a group to help for their help in getting you what the Virgo wants and I'm always a big fan of people getting what I want. So. Yeah. For Libras, it's in their 10th house of career and public standing. They're about to be evaluated professionally to see how well they're doing. Um, I think they end up doing very, very well and I think they end up with a promotion as a result of it because Jupiter is in their sign. So whatever it is that they've been looking for as far as career accolades since last year finally come over the next three or four weeks or so. For Libra, for Scorpios, the law is on their side, important legal matters, educational matters, important matters at a distance, any kind of contracts, any kind of negotiations. Even though Mercury is retrograde, they're going to see a harbinger of positive things to come and positive outcomes at the end of that. So a lot of them been waiting a long time for a resolution with a legal matter, and that comes to be. For Sagittarians, the money gods smile on them. The sun is in their eighth house of other people's resources. So this is unearned income flowing their way, and they can also benefit from other people's resources and also find a way to maximize an existing resource, which instead of looking for a new one. For Capricorns, it's in their seventh house of partners, and Capricorns are a tough crowd. They're a tough bunch to start out with, and they need to realize that their partners have feelings um, and their partners have rights in the relationship, and they're going to need to grant them some of them those rights, or the partners are going to be a lot more verbal about what they're not getting. For Aquarians, it's in their sixth house of work and responsibility. This is not necessarily a promotion, but they get word about some kind of obstacle that had been in their path, some sort of obstacle that had been preventing them from really realizing their abilities in that particular job, moves out of the way, kind of suddenly, kind of unexpectedly. And the best part is the Aquarian doesn't have to do anything except sit back and enjoy the, uh, the show. For Pisces... Love affairs, children, sports, amusements, pleasures. It's their favorite time of year. They love the summer more than anybody else because they're a water sign. They want to be by the beach. They want to go on vacation. Um, they want to do anything that's fun. And if they're single, they'll attract someone. And if they're married, that goes very well. And remember, Pisces, it's a very, 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 three varies fertile time of year for you. So. Ooh. Proactive is important here. For, for Aries, it's in their fourth house of home. It's about solidifying their home and their foundation, sticking, fixing up their home, um, changing things in their home, refurbishing their home, remodeling their home, buying a new home, even if they're not planning on living there right away, that kind of thing. But it has to do with making your home a more stable, secure place for the Aries. For Taurus, they're about to hit it and get it. They've got places to go and people to see and things to do and out and backs and lots and lots and lots on their agenda where they were kind of cruising for the last couple of weeks or so. Cruising has come to an end. Now it's time to get back to work and they're really going to have to work to keep up the pace. And then for Gemini, it's the last sign. Again, the money gods are smiling on them and they either get a better job with better pay. They have an economic advantage that they have not had in quite some time. So it's something really fun to look forward for them. And I think they should of all the signs, pick up the tab when we all go out because they're going to have more money at the end of their month and more month at the end of their money. So that's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac with the sun entering Cancer and the new moon on Friday in Cancer. We should be just about at the end of Mercury Record. Oh, Friday. yes, yes, yes. It, end, it ends on the 30th, so I'll have good news about that next week. All right. See you then.